In today's video, I want to talk about a package manager for Emacs called straight.eo. Now, straight.eo is a little bit different from package.eo um, in the fact that it has Git support built in. Um, it has a ton of features that the original package manager for GNU Emacs just doesn't have. And for myself, it tends to be a little bit faster with GNU Emacs in terms of startup time. So before we jump to the desktop, I do want to say happy Memorial Day to all of you that have served. Um, and let's jump into the, uh, to the video here. So this is my config file so far for uh, GNU Emacs. And now I'm not running Doom Emacs or Space Max or anything like that. This is GNU Emacs. And the way that this straight.el works is you have to put in um, this bootstrap information right here. And then you can install packages pretty much normally. Um, now, at first, because we're using use package, use package does work with straight.el, but right here you can you can see where I'm I'm installing use package, and then after we install use package, we can just use use package like we would um, with package.el. Um, the only difference between uh, using straight and using package.el that I have seen in the uh, config file itself is instead of saying ensure t, uh, you have to say straight t to inform the package that you're using straight.el and not package.el. I hope that makes sense for you guys. I know this is kind of a topic uh, not everyone's going to get because not everyone runs Emacs, but uh, for those of you that do run Emacs, um, you actually might benefit from this package manager. But let me show you guys how this package manager actually works. If I pull up a terminal here, and then we can go to my Emacs.d. So when we bootstrap all that information, this is what happens. It creates a directory called straight, right? And in this directory... We have repos. Remember what I said, every package gets brought down from Git. So you can see that we got beacon, we got uh, we got dash, we got evil. Um, and there's quite a bit of stuff in here that um, that installed for dependencies, I guess with evil. Now, the nice thing about straight.el is that if we wanted to pull down the exact commit, the exact commit, we could do that. Um, we could install the exact commit of a specific package. Now, why is this useful? This is useful because sometimes packages update. Um, and then, you know, they could do something where your config file just, it may not work for whatever reason, right? Like they could change something significant in their package and your config, well, you would have to rewrite your config file or configure that package in order to use the new updates. But let's say that you... Um, you have a configuration file, it works, right? And let's say you have another computer or you go to someone's house or you're giving your config file to a friend. Well, your friend downloads your config file. He expects to install it, run it, and everything should work. Well, let's say that in between those times, one of these packages just says, hey, we're going to do a major update, and uh, the old configuration doesn't work. Well, now your friend is probably a little pissed off at you because you gave him a configuration file that just simply doesn't work. Um, so the nice thing about straight.el is that if you know the exact commit 
um, then you can pull it in any package um, like that. Also, every package, like I said, is brought from Git. So if we go to Beacon here, you can see that it says um, we're going to have a, a Git uh, file in here, right? Okay, what about what about evil? Same thing with evil, right? We have a git file. All right, what about I don't know, fail.el. Same thing, right? Doom. Same thing. So this is really really cool, and the way it actually works. Um, if I can go to my web browser here. So the way that it actually works is that it looks for something called recipes, right? So if we go to Melpa GitHub. Now, you look at the Melpa GitHub. This is the, um, the user repositories of, um, or, um, yeah, I believe this is the user repository of packages, and Elpa is the uh, default Emacs repositories. But the way that straight works is you have something called recipes, right? So if you look at the Melpa, they have recipes. Click a recipe. Okay, and you can see every single package in this recipe. So if we, I don't know, let's look at Beacon. Here's Beacon. Click on Beacon. And you can see this recipe. All it's doing is it's fetching from GitHub. And it's showing the package. It, it's showing the repository right there. This is the repository for Beacon. So we could actually go to this. GitHub.com, and then, pretty sure, there it is. There's a beacon. So, that's pretty cool. And every single package that straight.el uses comes from these recipes. What that also means is that, let's say that you are a package developer, right? You want to develop your own package for Emacs and for whatever reason um you haven't put it on Melpa or um or any of that um third party type of stuff okay this is this is your package um and you're really you really don't want to share it with everybody um or whatever right you could still install that package using straight.el so that's another big benefit of using this package manager. Now, what I will say about this package manager is um, sometimes it's a little, I don't know, it's not glitchy, but uh, the bootstrap process, um, I tried bootstrapping on physical hardware and it, it, it worked as advertised. However, I did a live stream a couple of days ago, and uh, I was getting, uh, I was getting bootstrap like errors and stuff. So I'm not sure what was going on there, but um, it, I mean, it did work. So uh, we can look at all the icons too. So all the icons, um, I don't know, I'll be rich. You can you can see right here another GitHub, right? So, I'll show you guys the um, straight.el GitHub real fast. So, the way you install this package manager, like I said, all you do is you would copy this bootstrap information, put it in. You can eval buffer or you can just reload uh, Emacs. I personally would just reload Emacs and then um, it should... Um, bootstrap straight.el and then you can start actually using the package manager um, another cool thing about this package manager is it has Melpa built in that's right 
So let's take a look at my Emacs real fast. Most of the time in your Emacs config, you will have something, you will have a config um, or some def definitions for Melpa, right? With package.el, you have to define those to tell package.el to also use Melpa. With straight.el, you don't have to. Melpa is built in. So that's another thing uh, that's pretty that's pretty neat too. Um, there's no Melpa information here. Um, and like I did say earlier, you can still use the use package. So you can see in my config, I'm using use package for Doom mode line for evil, evil collection, which key. Um, and yeah, I know this configuration file isn't, it's not done, but um, that's one of the cool things. Now, what about boot up time, right? What about startup time? So, if we just boot this thing up, actually, let me let me kill Emacs because uh, I do some kind of um, I have a Damien running. So let me let me kill that Damien. Okay, no process is going. Fire up Emacs here. Watch how fast Emacs fires up, and you will see at the bottom. Normally, you see it trying to connect to Melpa to to see if those packages are updated. Or to see if there's any updates for those packages. Boom. Nothing at the bottom. And this is fantastic. This is one of the biggest reasons I'm using it. It's no secret that um, that Emacs, the more stuff you add on to Emacs, the, the slower it tends to go. Um, but... When you constantly have to connect to the Melpa servers to to grab all of those updates, um, that slows it down too, right? So that's one of the biggest reasons I'm using straight uh, instead of use package. Um, let's go back to the uh, web browser here, and um, but you can see some of those features. Um, all the packages are cloned as Git repositories, not tarballs. So the way that use package works is it grabs a tarball and then it extracts that tarball and then that's your package. Uh, straight uses straight clones it as a Git repository, which also makes it super easy to update the uh, the packages. So I guess you can also use Maggot to uh, to help update your repository on your packages. Um, you can you can specify package descriptions using a powerful format based on the Melpa recipes. Um, use package integration. So I personally really really like this. Um, I it, like I said I know some of you this is a, a niche kind of video because some of you don't even run emacs uh but for those of you that do um i would give this a shot um there's also another gentleman that i watch here on youtube system crafters this guy is a beast for anything to deal with emacs and he has a fantastic website um and he goes over all the straight.el features on that website um so if you are going to be using the um, straight.el um i would also hop out hop on over to the system crafters website and give his uh, his guide here a uh, a little walkthrough um he talks about how to upgrade a package. So you could do straight pull all. So let's see if there's any upgrades on mine. So if I do uh, control X or meta X, and if I do straight pull all. So maybe which key has an update here. I'm going to give it a minute.
and it's done i just upgraded every single package that i had now like like i said earlier if we had more packages obviously that would take quite a little bit longer but um yeah we don't have we just don't have that much stuff going on also on the system crafters website um you can you can remove packages as well um so and you can lock package versions like i said this is the deal this is dealing with the the exact commit um that's what i was talking about earlier so yeah um give this give this a shot um definitely read through uh the system crafter stuff um and also think about using straight if you are using uh emacs because it has significantly sped up um the package management system so anything to make emacs just a little bit faster is probably a pretty good uh application so that's it for today's video i do want to thank every single one of you guys for watching and uh like comment subscribe do all that good stuff if you guys are already using straight.el let me know in the comments and uh yeah until next time you guys take care be safe and peace Bye, guys.